Hey YouTube, I'm here at Kevin Lippy's house. It's a friend of mine. And what's your kennel's name? Uh, Cedar Top Kennels. Cedar Top Kennels. And I'm gonna have uh, Rhonda bred to one of his great stock dogs. And he's gonna teach me and my friend Greg Gully a little bit about how to work sheep. So this is Buck. This is one of the males that Kevin has that I available for me to breed to Rhonda. And we're going to watch him work and I have to start weighing my options and decide which one I want to breed to. Kevin uses sheep to fine tune on his dogs while training because they're probably the easiest stock to work. But the competitions he does are cattle competitions and sometimes mixed stock competitions. Buck is very controlled and doesn't bite the sheep, but one of the things that I like about Buck is Kevin said he has the strongest bite on a cow of any of his dogs. Buck also seems to be one of the faster and more athletic dogs I've seen. What's this dog's name? Max. Max? He's 20 months old. Mac is a big dog, which I like, and he's also got the long coat, which I kind of like that too. They're fluffy looking, and really, he's an attractive dog, so he's right at the top of my list. And watching him work, you could really get a sense for how intelligent he was too. Of course, almost all these dogs that Kevin had were extremely intelligent dogs and very highly trained. So picking the differences between them was almost impossible. Isn't that funny? <laughs> get a hold of him! <laughs> this was about the most fun we had all weekend. Uh, these puppies were eight weeks old and they'd never seen stock before. And we wanted to be able to pick out kind of our favorites, so we showed them stock for the first time. And watch that little red one work back and forth and go to the head and get hold. Kevin took Rhonda in for a little bit to try to tune her up on these sheep. Up until today is Rhonda's first time ever seeing sheep. And before uh -oh. this, she's only ever worked like cattle. Little wolf. So he's trying to get a little bit tighter <laughs> control on her and trying to teach her to get off of the stock some. The whole time I was down there, Kevin was giving me tips and pointing out things on how to tune up Rhonda to get the most out of her. And that way, I, when I went home, I could practice more, which I did every day once I got home. And Rhonda and I are getting along very well, thanks to Kevin's help. After about two weeks of practicing what Kevin had shown me down at his farm, I went by a friend's house and he asked me if Rhonda could pin his rope and calves in a corral for him. Here's a video of that. These cattle had no fear because they had not been dogged before. What I was most pleased with was how controlled Rhonda bit. She had to bite four, three or four times to get them to move, but she wouldn't just go crazy afterwards. She'd bite and then back off and let them, let them walk on. And she also shows really good balance naturally, and I use that a little bit to my advantage on working on my directions. I liked Rhonda's decision to come by here because that black heifer was thinking about making a break for it. That was a very good controlled on command bite.
She may not be a world champion, but I sure am proud of her. So, we decided to go with this dog here to breed to. What's his name? His name Buck. Three year old. Hi, right, Buck. He's pretty sharp. And uh, you've trialed him a little? Yeah. Yeah, we've had some success with him. Mountain States Reserve. I guess the ultimate stock dog in the nursery class last last summer, yeah. He has a really good outrun. He goes clear to the fence to make a sweep around about a 10 acre pasture. And the sheep, I'm not sure he could even see them from where he started. The sheep were in two different herds about a hundred yards apart. Kevin was able to give him the command to look back and he brings in groups both individual herds together. I was so impressed that Buck was able to keep his focus and get his job done with this ignorant livestock guardian dog jumping all over him. Kevin is still about 100 yards away. My friend and I walked forward to be able to film this where the sheep would be coming into this field. Some of the attributes that made me go with this dog were his athleticism. Like you could just tell he would, could get with it. He was really fast and could probably jump the highest of any of his dogs there and run the fastest. He was very intelligent and very smart. But what took the cake for me was I could just tell by the way Kevin and his friends talk. Like if there was a rough cow that was going to put up a fight, Buck would be the dog that could put the whammy on her. And what I'm mostly breeding my dog for is cattle work and not really so much the finite um, sheep herding or the competitive finite control of competitions. However, now that Kevin has introduced me to it, I'm really kind of getting excited about it and hope that when I have this litter of pups that's on their way, that I might get good enough at training to someday be able to compete in a mixed stock dog trial. At the point of editing this video, Rhonda's already five weeks long with Buck's pups, and we're expecting a good litter because she's already showing. If anybody out there is interested in maybe contacting me about getting in line for one of the pups, 
you can do that on Facebook at my own personal page at Jerry Lee Rosa Jr. or on my farm page, Rosa Family Farms, and send me a direct message. At this point in the video, I'm just going to let it play out so that you can listen to Kevin handle his dog and watch all of Buck's masteries of the skills. Thank you for watching this video, and if you want to see more of this type of content on my page in addition to my horse content, say so in the comments. I also need everybody to subscribe, and then to help me grow this channel, hit the notifications buttons, the like buttons, and share this on your own social medias, and tell all your friends, because I want my channel to grow, and I'm trying to hit 10,000 people by the end of the year. We hit 1,000 in our first year. I think 10,000 in our second year is an achievable goal, if everybody will help. Thank you, and God bless.